Now well, today is January 22. I am here reflecting in my private devotions that I invite you to witness and join along with me. And January 22, um, January 22 is a lovely day. Uh, we are alive to see it. And I'm looking in my devotion book, the Bible in 366 days for men. Also for women, boys and girls. <laughs> January 22. And this one is entitled, according to the writer Angus Bushan, he says, Good Advice. We are looking at Exodus chapter 18, verse 13 and 14, and verse 17 to 24. Exodus chapter 18, verse 13 and 14, and then verses 17 to 24, New Living Translation. The next day Moses took his seat to hear the people's disputes against each other. They waited before him from morning till evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he asked, What are you really accomplishing here? Why are you trying to do all this alone? Well, everyone stands around you from morning till evening. This is not good, Moses' father-in-law exclaimed. You are going to wear yourself out, and the people too. This job is too heavy a burden for you to handle all by yourself. Now listen to me. And let me give you a word of advice, and may God be with you. You should continue to be the people's representative before God, bringing their disputes to Him. Teach them God's decrees and give them His instructions. Show them how to conduct their lives, but select from all the people some capable, honest men who fear God and hate bribes. Appoint them as leaders over groups of 1,000, 100, 50, and 10. They should always be available to solve the people's common disputes, but have them bring the major cases to you. Let the leaders decide the smaller matters themselves. They will help you carry the loan, making the task easy for you. If you follow this advice, and if God commands you to do so, then you will be able to enjoy the pressures, and all these people will go home in peace. Moses listened to his father-in-law's advice and followed his instructions. These were <laughs> good words of advice, solid words of advice. Um, First advice about time management. <laughs> First time management lecture recorded on earth. Jethro, who necessarily wasn't a believer of God, the God that um, Moses believed in and followed, but yet Jethro is now with Moses after he delivered the people, the people of Israel. And he noticed that Moses being crowded around and spending the whole day and the people waiting in the line and not being served. This reminds you of government, <laughs> local government, and how I would say the parliament, and our members of parliament, and you're coming to see the minister and you can't see the minister, and in some countries they have what they call the local government, which is people that are supposed to be looking after groups of people in the, in the towns especially in the municipalities, they call it. And you have a mayor and the councillors, you know. This is, this is the first setting up of the city council. <laughs> For the people of Israel and local government, parliament system, and every time Moses come like the prime minister, and uh, um, not the government general, come like the prime minister. And um, so this is nothing new to us, we are familiar. But we get often, the same way people get disgruntled with Moses waiting in long line, we get often disgruntled with our politicians. And that's what we focus on today. Um, what is God saying to me about politicians? You know, I um, deal a lot with people in government, government ministries, government, in the public service, that's what they call it. And there are some great people. There are some in there, in different countries that they have the job and they, 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 they mess up the fact that they have the job because they abuse it, the privileges, and they, they don't put in the full workload as they should. 
you know, they abuse the system, long, long charges and all this kind of thing. Because once you get into government, once you get appointed, it's hard to put you out of the public service. But let's forget that for a while and let's talk about the dedicated people that serve in government. And I think that we really ought to pray to God for them. And thank God when the government ministries are advancing in some way, the government ministries in Belize are improving or they're going online and whatever. But one of the dangers of going online is that you you overlook people that are not competent with technology and whatever and we, and, and there's a need to to still cater to the people that are not tech savvy. Now what's this have to do with devotion? But but the, the honest thing is that we are in this world. And uh, even though some people will say be in the world and not of the world, yes. Um, but still we have to live with government and, and Jesus did say, give unto Caesar what is due to Caesar and, go, or, and give unto God what is due unto God. Therefore, um, we have to spend some time respecting our parliamentary leaders, our mayors, our town um, city councillors and the infrastructure people who help in the different ministries and departments to facilitate us with the different needs that we have. And um, I pray for them and I, I, you know, I am blessed in this country of Belize. Um, uh, yes, I can talk to the Prime Minister from time to time. I could possibly get in contact with some of the ministers of, of Parliament. Um, but I can always track down the Mayor of Belize City if I want, or uh, the Mayor of um, San Ignacio and Santa Elena. And uh, I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could find the Mayor for Belma Pan. So, and, and any councillor, and, and some of the councillors are happy uh, to talk to the people. And um, I think sometimes we take them for granted or sometimes we disrespect them or sometimes because they are the same people just like us, we, we don't speak well of them or in the way that we should respect. The Bible says respect those who are placed in authority over us. Now, they are there to help the system and to make the country move smoother. And this is a word to me as I think of the great people that I have come into contact in government in St. Lucia, in Barbados, in Jamaica, in Bermuda, in, um, in, 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 in here in Belize, where, where I have lived. I, I think in every country I can pinpoint some good public service workers, some good um, parliamentarians, you know, they are, they are good ones. And uh, while it may seem as if it's something not too honest sometimes because of the actions of a few, we really have some good leaders and the pressure of leading a people and the people not pleased. Because this is what Moses was doing, he was leading a nation, but the nation half the time was not pleased with him nor God. Yet they were following it. And how it is every day you're working for the people, but yet they are cursing you. They're against you. They're quarreling with you. This is what the Prime Minister in every country has to go through. This is what the President of the United States, President of Russia, President of um, China, if they have one, um, have to go through all the time. No one looks, likes the person in the top. And this is what was was saying. Um, you, they, they, they are. They are quarreling against, are quarreling against God, not us. We are just <laughs> the representatives. It's interesting, huh? Interesting. Um, but to, to just wrap it up, Angus Bushan says Moses was wearing himself out solving the problems of the Israelites. Jethro told Moses to get help. He listened to his father-in-law, and it worked. God never expects us to be long rangers. Take the support that is offered from fellow believers. And this is hard sometimes, you know, um, I'm telling you, to bring in others on the team and try to work because everybody is not like you, everybody doesn't understand things that you have the same ambition. But what Jeffrey is saying to Mo was saying to Moses is you gotta be vulnerable enough to try. And the same thing with me. I gotta be vulnerable enough to trust people and to expect that they may not always live up to, to the expectations uh, that I have. Yet, yeah, um, with God's help, we can still be successful in what we want to do together. This is my message.
which is unique to me, uh, to, to delegate even more, to, to share um, the load even more, um, to expect that even though people may not be happy um, with leadership, that God is with me and leading me, and um, I will have to just continue to do my best and allow God to do the rest. Blessings.